Okay, the next thing we need to do when selecting data from a table is to consider the case that we might want to select data from more than one table at the same time. So I'm looking at the uh, products table here that we've been working with. I've got product ID, name, price, SKU, and for category, I've got a list of numbers. Now, because I built the database, because I put the data in, I know category ID 1 is music, 2 is videos, I know 8 is produce, but I'd like to be able to put some information in there that's going to be useful to the people who are viewing my website where I'm outputting this. So instead of these numbers for category ID, I want to put out the name. So if I look in the categories table, I have a field called category name. If I browse through that, music, video, there we go. There's the names that I want to put out. So I want to put this name together with the fresh produce products. I want to be able to put this name together with the video products from the products table. So we need a way of connecting these two. Now category ID, that's the common link. Looking in the products table, this category ID column. I also have a category ID column. Not, the important part is not that they have the same name. It's that they contain the same information. These numbers match the category ID in the categories table. Right there. These numbers match up with the category ID numbers in the products table. All right, so let's um, let's go to the SQL window. We're gonna delete that. So what I'm gonna want to do is I'm going to select from the products table. I'm going to select the product name and the product price. From the categories table, I want to select the category name. All right, now I've got products as my table. I'm also going to use categories, but I have to create a connection between these two things. And because there are some fields that are the same in both tables, when I'm writing out these column names, I really should be specific in saying which table these columns are coming from. So we're going to use a thing called aliases. It's like nicknames. I'm going to say the products table is going to be called P, and I'm going to nickname the categories table as C. This is known as aliasing. There we go, P, and P, and C. So my product name and product price are coming from my products table. You can see by the letter P here, that's my nickname. And the categories is going to, the category name is going to be coming from the categories table, because I put that nickname here. Now, I could have left off this as P and as C and just used the full name. But that gets to be really long, especially if you want to select a whole bunch of columns. So you've got products dot product name, products dot product price, products dot product SKU, products dot product description. It just gets really, really long. Categories dot category name. With these little aliases, it makes it much faster for me to write this whole command. Okay, so that's step one, the aliasing. Now, I need to create a connection between these two tables, products and categories. So I'm going to use a key term here called inner join. So products is going to do an inner join with categories. And basically what I'm saying is get the stuff from the products table and the stuff from the categories table, but I only want it where they join together on the products table category ID matching the categories table category ID. So wherever there's a match between the category ID table, the category ID in the products table and the category ID in the 
categories table, that's the connection. So I'm not going to write out product number one and then list off all the categories and then product two and list off all the categories. I only want one category name coming back for each product. Each product only has one value for category ID so I should only be getting one category name. Now if I want to limit this whole thing I can also add a WHERE clause and I can limit it by any field. It can be the product name, the product ID, the product price, any of those things. But what I most want to do right now is I'm only going to pick one category. That's really going to limit me down. So I'm going to say where the category ID in the products table is equal to 2. That's my video category. So the name, price, and I should get the word video coming back for both these guys because I've specified that is where it's limited. And there we go. Two products. They're both names in movies. There's the price. And there's the category name, video. So I was able to get columns from two tables. I specified which table they were coming from using the aliases. There we go. Products as P, categories as C. That was our two aliases that we used. Inner join is the keyword that connects the two of them. My on clause here, this is specifying which column connects to which column between the two tables. And then I just filtered all my results by using a where clause at the end. It didn't have to be category ID that I filtered on, I just wanted to get those two products. Now if I want to take this exact same thing, let's see if I copy this whole thing, and I go back into here, and just to show you that I don't have to filter it based on that, I'm going to say where price is greater than $100. So there we go. There's a filter that's got nothing to do with categories. I'll run this again. There we go. The one product that I've got that's over $100, that John Deere mower. And that's the next step in selecting. Selecting data from two tables using aliases and using inner joints.